dass es selber damit gespielt werden, dass es keine Lebensmittel mehr sind, egal ob ihr Bio und Demi The next thing is to be aware of what we need to avoid, or our immune system will stop working rather fast. Perhaps, the most important thing is to stop eating genetically modified, GM food. GM food was introduced on the food market sometime in the 1990s, I believe, and now it's the main source of food. The food industry, led by Monsanto, is ruthless. Just recently, the government was trying to pass a law that requires that all GM food needs to be marked so that the consumer knows. This was furiously fought against by Monsanto, which is working on getting a monopoly within the food industry. Monsanto is willing to spend billions of dollars if necessary to prevent labeling GM food from happening, so in the long term, it will probably win that battle. Monsanto, which is a super criminal organization, is literally attacking smaller farmers who are into organic food with the intention of eliminating them from the market. I have said many times how easy it is to accidentally choose the machine kingdom not realizing what we're doing. We don't want Homo Nova to be extinct before we have even established ourselves. You see, this is exactly what the alien invader force is counting on, they will be able to outlaw organic food or non-GM food in general. This way, they can kill two birds with one stone, those who choose the machine kingdom and those who decide to evolve independently. Therefore, we have a few serious challenges ahead of us. Some ask why the aliens let us evolve on the side without them particularly interfering, but there are a few answers, they think they will get us with one of their poisonous programs or another. This is why we have to be smarter than the alien forces in certain ways. Those who fear the alien force would say that it's impossible, the alien invader force are much smarter than we are, but those who understand the power in the awakening of consciousness will say that we are getting much smarter than the negative force thinks. We don't even need to know what their programs are. We just need to recognize the pattern of the dictators. Eventually, this force becomes predictable because they do what has always worked. The aliens are involved in so many areas of life that they need to find patterns that work and stick with them as long as possible. Hence, the evil force has tried programs that work on humans. They ask themselves, how do you manipulate a human? They studied our patterns, our strengths, and our weaknesses. Then they tried out some programs that seemed to work and developed those. One such program is to take something that is true in which that force does not want us to know, turn it into the opposite of what it is, and then present it to mankind as the truth, it almost always works. The most obvious example, perhaps, in relation to them, is what was discussed in West Penner papers about Lord Enki in the second level of learning. In mythology and in the Sumerian cuneiform, he is presented as a savior rescuing a small part of mankind from the deluge. Since then, Lord Enki has been looked upon as a good god. In fact, he saved the small part of mankind who had his own blood running through their veins to create a human elite after the deluge had subsided. This elite was meant to control the rest of the slave workers, who later became us, and is doing so up to this day. Saving mankind from extinction elevated Lord Enki to a hero and someone to worship, when the truth of the matter is that it was he who started the whole master-slave society we have had from after the biblical flood. Another popular program is Problem Reaction Solution, where the alien force or the global elite is creating a problem, such as 9-11. Humankind protests worldwide and demands that the authorities do something about terrorism. Therefore, the same forces who created the problem in the first place will now present a solution that fits them in their agenda. So they created a war on terror and cut back on our human rights in the name of national security. Mankind, who has no idea how this formula works and that their own government would do something that evil, are now happy because they feel safer with more surveillance and restrictions and with more power to the government. These are merely two examples. Unfortunately for them, after a while, we learn how to recognize their modus operandi and learn how to avoid the traps. Thus, we'll become more and more like excellent jiu-jitsu masters who just casually lift an arm when the enemy attacks, and the enemy falls on his head. It's enough to read a newspaper article every now and then and we can quite clearly see how the alien invader force operates. We simply learn how not to fall for it. The next thing they may try is to create new programs designed particularly to manipulate us truth seekers after they have studied us and our patterns for quite a while, and then they will start implementing them. This may be trickier for us, so now, in the beginning of the new era, 
We need to be extra alert and make sure we are not falling for any new types of manipulation because that's the only way they can get us, to have us agree with them. Perhaps, we should get more realistic. The alien force already knows how truth seekers work, I'm sure. They have had a relatively long time to study us. They have always tried to choose the path of least resistance when possible, and I have the feeling they will do that now as well. I need to explain what I mean by that in this particular case.